What is up, pops? I'm gonna be doing another, or adding on to a whole new series of Samurai Warriors for Empires. So what I'm gonna be doing is at the suggestion of another, uh, uh, from one of my viewers, um, I'm going to be taking the people from my friends list on PSN, and I'm going to be throwing us all in a free for all in a bid over ch Japan at the highest difficulty level and see what everyone does. So first, this is gonna, the character I'm going to be using. Um, I chose these weapons mainly as I wanted to attempt a different type of weapon and play style and see where I can go from there. Next one up is JJ Crossfade. Now he's kind of a <laughs> he's kind of a, a funny person, and he definitely has a lot of attitude. And I feel like if he was in this kind of world, he'd have the same kind of semi-seriousness and laid-backness as Magoichi Saika, which, um, or at least in this game, he's portrayed that way. And he. Um, definitely has a lot that he can do in the background and he's definitely got uh, quite the opinion on a lot of things so I put most of his points towards um, the leadership skills and the politics skills mixed up his killer shot now in the few games that I've seen I've played I've always seen him either lay back and attack from a distance or just go gung-ho and get in everyone's face so I gave him uh, Nabu Nabuyuki's blade which is also has a hidden blade in it so it doubles as a, as a dual sword and I put most of his points towards leadership and leading his men now Charles Blood he's another funny character he is he can be very serious and lead a group well, um, but at the same time, he's the jokester of the group and always tries to keep everything fun and carefree. So I gave him Kojiro Katakura's weapons, which is a blade for running, for uh, dueling people head on, and then there's also a hidden pistol in it, kind of to show off the hidden side of that Charles keeps away. Um, we put his, I sacrificed some of his stats to put towards his, uh, leadership wisdom, wisdom and politics skills. He seems pretty balanced, but it does sacrifice his overall combat stat, uh, stats. Next up is Luke. Luke Hyde 101. Um, for his weapons I put Musashi Miyamoto. <coughs> They're kind of a diverse kind of weapon. You can um, outmaneuver your opponents, but at the same time, dish out a lot of damage. Um, but sometimes you can be pretty slow on uh, countering. Uh, so for his abilities, I put in more of the aggressive stance. Uh, next is Goblin Servant. Uh, he couldn't fit, so I put Gob Gob. Um, now, he seems to have a lot, uh, that he does in the background, so I put most of his abilities towards, uh, speed and strategies, so he's more of a ninja type character, I've seen him play different, uh, differently with each game that he plays he plays carefully but at the same time he can get all up in everyone's faces so so to go with the medium next is Rai guy uh, now he's a, he's kind of a laid-back person but at the same time if you piss him off you piss him off <laughs> and he there's no, there's probably no uh, stopping him unless you're a giant dinosaur 
Um, <laughs> but, um, so I put his abilities more towards his health and his defense. And, uh, I'm running at things to say about people. <laughs> uh, next up is my nephew, Fearball DX. He tries to act like cool and mysterious but at the same time you can see right through him he's got quite an obvious uh, skill set that he likes to try and mix up in different games but he ends up going to the same kind of build each time so I put his abilities more towards speed as well just like I did with Goblin Servant um, and let's see where we all go from here this is just the introductory video. I believe I kind of got everyone's playstyle in mind, and the AI in this game can be can be pretty smart. So I'm hoping that it picks up from there. And on the highest difficulty, it definitely intensifies the AI. And we will see where we go from there. There's definitely not enough leaders here to have all of the lands in Japan, but I'm going to have some low rate leaders as well in between us and I'm going to give each of us a head start with at least one other officer in our uh, nation and we will go from there all right hope you guys look forward to the series and let's do this okay guys there was something I did want to add on to the end of this video I did just want to show you what I intended for the series and I am going I'm not going to yeah I'll start it and I'll do the opening scene um, no, I'm not gonna actually get into the gameplay tonight at all so I'm gonna do as you can see I'm doing the nightmare difficulty uh, yes 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 okay and I am going to um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to No, I can't do that. Huh, I guess you did. At least since my D over to the D, I should actually do it. Uh, well, I'll get set up and we'll come back. Alright, and we're back. So here's where everybody is. Charles Blood starts over here with Hideyoshi Toitomi. Now, I did start each of us with a respected uh, leader. Um, and it will go from there on who we uh, hire and everything in our armies. Uh, the next position is over here with Killer Shot and Ujiyasu Hojo. Um, now I did put a bunch of minor named people here. Now I do know that all these officers did ha do have a history and all that stuff. But in the seri this series at least they are minor, just minor officers. Uh, I put Rai Guy down here with Ieyasu Tokugawa. Goblin Servant is here with Shingen Takeda. Fear Ball DX has Nobunaga Oda. JJ Crossfade here with uh, Kenshin Uesugi. Blue Kaid has Kiyomasa Kaito. Now he wasn't a famous leader, he was a famous general and castle builder. So I figured down here with this location it would be best to make use of his talents there. And I started myself here with Kanetsu Nawe, who was a strategist and I believe he was the leader of the Uesugi later on? Maybe? Um... I think that is 
everybody um, you know what while these are minor named characters I have had seen in their AI um, be pretty competent so I'm gonna start everyone off with one other officer we'll do Luigi Saika, Charles Flood, Rai Guy Gets, Keiji Maida, Powerhouse, Killer Shot will get Anzo Hatori, the Ninja, JJ Crossfade. Uh, we'll go with uh, Nagamasa Azai. Fearball, you will get Mitsuhide Akechi. The irony in that. Give you. No. Goblin Servant, you will get Tadakatsu Honda. Powerhouse. Uh, Luke, put you with Masamune Date, and I will give myself, um, Kotaru Fuma the Ninja. Yeah. I should do it. All right, we're gonna go ahead, do this, pick us. Now, for some reason, this game still has issues with the sound, so I, for some reason, it's not gonna work in recording the sound. Alrighty, so let's do this. Alright, so I'm not going to actually start any the gameplay. I'm going to assign my strategist and save it. And I will pick it up with the actual start in the next one.